Hey everyone, I just wanted to give you an update on this Android car stereo unit that I picked up. So, about a month after I installed it, I started having an issue um, where it was throwing an error in the main menu system. Basically, anytime I did anything, if I touched a button, if I went into a menu, um, it would say that the G app service uh, the process had failed, G apps process failed, um, and it was nonstop, it was relentless. It would say, this process has failed, push OK, and it would just instantly pop up again as soon as I hit the OK button. Um, I ended up resolving that issue by just basically uh, doing a factory reset after many failed attempts to, to actually get to the menu option. I did a factory reset, um, cleared out the unit, and it was fine after that. I reinstalled all my stuff, had to re-download all my music, basically reset the entire system, um, and it was fine for about two weeks, and now I have this problem. The unit never gets past this loading screen. It just sits here indefinitely. Um, it's strange though, the rear view camera, I've got that wired up here. That still works. When I flip that on, I. <laughs> it's just really strange. It never leaves the screen. So, um, I discovered something. Well, first there's this little reset button down here. Um, I'll show you what happens when I push that. So that resets the unit. I've tried pushing and holding. I don't get any different results. And then it starts to reboot. But, alas, it gets stuck continuously at this loading screen. So, I found another trick. And that is, if you push and hold the volume button and the home button simultaneously, and you just kind of let it sit for a second, it'll take you to a boot menu. Saw something flicker there. Let's see what happens when I release it. Yep, okay. So now I get to this boot menu. Yep. Okay. Volume up or down, or short power button to move, highlight, long power button to select. So we've got a reboot system now, update system image from SD card, update system image from USB, and recover system from backup. So I tried the first option, and that didn't do anything. Um, so I'm going to try this option now. I noticed that this rotary encoder is so sensitive, this volume button is so sensitive, you kind of have to hold it and keep it from rotating in order to get your selection. So let's see what this does if I try to re recover system from backup. Now I didn't make a backup. I hope that there's one in here. <laughs> we'll just kind of see what happens. This is the first time I've tried this. I have no idea what's going to happen. Probably nothing. Oh, great. Uh, alright, well... I guess I'll just try rebooting then. I didn't see any sort of dialogue that said it was actually recovering. Alright, let's just reboot it, see if it gets stuck. So I don't know what I'm going to do, um, short of taking the thing out of the car for the third time and seeing if disconnecting its power entirely and letting it sit fixes it. I was going to try fiddling with these SD cards actually too and see if that does anything. Yeah, I suppose I could try pulling those out. I've also tried powering it down using the volume button, pushing and holding that. And it didn't do anything. I don't know. Alright, let's just try taking these out and see if that does anything. There's one. They are like 
really in there. There's the other one. Alright, so those are both disconnected now. Can't see that. So let's, let's just try resetting it. So if anyone has any ideas on how to fix this, um, short of uploading some new operating system or image on it, I'd be really interested in hearing what you have to say. Post it up in the comments and let me know. Thanks.